Hello and welcome back to Drinking by Michelle. Today I'm going to be doing the Rainbow Flag book tag, which is basically a celebration of all of the LGBTQIA plus books that we love. I was tagged in this challenge by Mel from the channel Books with Wings. I will link to her video below as well as the original video of this tag which was created by Lee Reader. Okay, so basically how this tag works is we're going to go through every colour of the rainbow and each colour has a different category associated with it and you have to name a book or character that fits that category. And we're going to start with the colour of my wine. Red, your favourite LGBTQIA plus book that features a love story. Ooh, well, I have a clear favourite here, Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. This is one of my favourite books anyway, I've only read it once but I absolutely adored it and I just love, love, love the relationship between Ruth and Iggy. I haven't seen the film and I'm avoiding ever watching the film which hurts me inside because it stars Mary Stuart Masterson who I have been in love with really since the day I saw her. But I've been told that in the film version they basically gave it the Christian Stewart treatment. They took out the love story and they turned Ruth and Iggy into gal pals, raising a child together. They were in love, Hollywood! Oh my god, Fanny Flagg's written so many other books! I'm gonna have to read all of them. Even in the book itself, it's not super explicit about their love story, but it is clear that they are in a relationship, they're not just friends. And they have just one of my favourite love stories ever. So this is gonna be the red of my rainbow flag. It's yellow, which is confusing. Okay, after red comes orange, where you have to pick an LGBTQIA plus book that is filled with creativity. And I have a clear winner for this category. It's a book that I just read over this summer and it blew me away. That is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silver. Vera. This is such a creative and interesting book. It's about a teenager named Aaron who is struggling to come to terms with his sexuality and it's set in what seems almost to be just present day New York, except that there is this company that exists and we only really see it from a few adverts they walk past or they see on the subway. It's very background and the company allows people to erase their memories. So if they have a memory that's too painful, they can go to this company and get rid of it. Just like in Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind, which is one of my favourite movies. And at first this company is just very much in the background. I kept forgetting that it really existed, but as the book goes on, it becomes more and more relevant to the characters. And the way that Adam Silvera weaves it in is just so clever and brilliant. To be honest, I would recommend this book to anyone really. It's one of the best books I have read all year, and it is definitely the most creative, so it's going to be my orange. Next is yellow, where you have to name an LGBTQIA plus character who is happy and positive. Um, there's quite a lot I can think of for this really. None of them I have the physical books here, but there's David in The Art of Being Normal who goes through some really hard things but is very happy and positive and optimistic for much of the book. Josie in The Melody of You and Me, which is a novella that came out last month. I did a little review for it when it first came out, which I will link to. Okay, for Green you have to name an LGBTQA plus character who you can relate to. So I picked Kristen from None of the Above. Even though I can't relate to her specific experience of being intersex, she was such a relatable character in so many other ways. Until the diagnosis, she is a very typical high school girl. She's not the most popular girl in the school, but she has a lot of friends. She has a boyfriend who she's crazy about. She loves running. She's really passionate. She just felt very much like somebody that I would know in real life and would be good friends with and would relate to. And then she gets this diagnosis that she's intersex and she has no idea how to deal with it. And I just felt like I was with her every step of the way. All of her reactions were relatable. All of her questions were relatable. All of the things that she found hard and all of the ways that she found to make it positive. It all just felt so real and so understandable and it was very easy to empathise. And what's really cool about this book is that while it is exploring the specific challenges of discovering that you were intersex, it also challenges our gender assumptions completely. And even though, of course, Kristen does struggle and does feel like it changes her life, the book does make it clear that ultimately gender is a social construct and that this diagnosis does not make Kristen any less of a girl. So even though she's going through something that I've never been through, I found Kristen a very relatable character. I'm also going to just sneak in another answer here because this is a character who is not explicitly LGBT+, but I'm convinced that they are. Jo from Little Women, in my heart, will always be gay. And I relate to her so hard. I always have. She's one of the characters that I most like in many ways and most want to be like in other ways. I just think she's brilliant. And I'm convinced that Louisa May Alcott knew she was gay but just wasn't allowed to write her that way. Louisa May Alcott, by the way, very interesting woman. I wrote a short blog post a while ago, which I will link to, about how there's a lot more to her than I originally thought when reading this, because a lot of this book was influenced by what her publishers said, rather than what she wanted to do with the book. So yeah, I'm sneaking Jo in there as well. Next is Blue, which is an LGBTQIA plus book that talks about difficult issues. And I have two in mind. First one is The Colour Purple, which is just one of the most wonderful books. 
It deals with some incredibly difficult issues. There's a big theme of racism running throughout. Incest is explored, sexual abuse is explored. There's a lot of really harrowing content. But ultimately the book does manage to be really happy and uplifting. I was very late to reading it, somehow we never read it at school, and it's just one of the most incredible books. So if you also miss out on reading it, definitely read it. But I borrowed it when I read it, so I don't have my own copy. Remind me to get my own copy. But the book that I do have is The Outside Lands by Hannah Kohler. This book is told from two perspectives, a brother and a sister. It is the sister, Jeannie, who has a romance with another woman while she is married to a man, and that makes up one half of the book. The other half is set in the Vietnam War and follows her brother Kit. So again, there's a lot of difficult issues being explored here. There's ultimately a bit of a twist in the way these two stories connect, other than the fact they're brother and sister, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. And then finally there's Purple, which is a book that features an LGBTQIA plus character who is not the main character. So for that I picked one of my all time favourites, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It is not Charlie the main character who is LGBT plus, it is his friend Patrick. Patrick is such a great character, he's so much better than the rubbish version of him from the film. I have strong feelings about that film, I've made a whole video about that before as well. And I know it's controversial because people love that film, but it is nothing like the book, it is so much less good than the book. Ugh, I could go on all day about it, but I won't. So this is my rainbow book flag, it's pretty colourful. I'm going to tag a few people in the description box below, but if you'd like to do this, I'd love to see your answers, so consider yourself tagged. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below, I would love to hear any of your recommendations for LGBTQA plus reads, and subscribe to this channel to see new videos every Friday. See you next time! Today I'm feeling a little bit hungover, so that's why I'm in my hangover onesie and drinking tea by myself instead. Oh, that's hot. I'm going to make some autumn sangria. Two apples. This. This seems dangerous. Oh.